Mendelssohn was supposed to to write uh, five concerto for the woodwind instruments or instruments within the woodwind quintet. There's also a horn, it's not a woodwind. Um, but he didn't. He, he only did finish a flute concerto and the clarinet concerto. So uh, I'm uh, very much uh, pleased to be asked to write the oboe concerto that he didn't. I was asked a year ago or something, a half, year and a half ago, to, to write this piece and I immediately said yes because uh, I like to write concertos and, and uh, I like very much the oboe as an instrument because it's, um, it has so many different colors within it uh, and it can be play very fast and, and very dolce, you know. Um, so it has everything that a good instrument should have. And it's also in this low register can be a bit vulgar in, in, its, in its expression. So I'm trying to explore those different sides of, of the instrument. The low register, which is like powerful and the high register, which is, which is very light, dolce like. It's very traditional, it's three movements, fast, slow, fast, actually. Uh, so it's, it's traditional in that way, but the movements are attacca, so, so it's not, it's, it's going for 24 minutes or something like that in, in one go. It, it is a standard uh, orchestra, I mean, three of the woodwinds, four horns, three trumpets, three trombones, and tuba, two percussion. Uh, stuff like that, but I take some. I take a woodwind quintet out of the orchestra. So on stage, there is only two flutes, one oboe or English horn, two clarinets, two fagots. So, and um, I also take one another horn and trumpet out of the orchestra and place in another place. So the orchestra is, is diminished by, by seven instruments. I have also tried to, to play with the temperaments, <laughs> which also Carnison has in one of his symphonies. Uh, so uh, there is two like different moods in, in, the, in, the, in the concerto. And when the soloist is in one mood, the orchestra is in a totally different mood. So it's always like, uh, different things that's going on between the soloist and uh, the orchestra or the ensembles uh, in the hall. I think that my music or this concerto, um, I've tried to connect something of it uh, with Carlinson, not that the music is, is Carlinson like, but I think that if you overall, should, if you talk about Carlinson's music, mm. it's insisting having minor and major scales or chords in the music at the same time. That's maybe the most characteristic with his, his music. And that I have also tried in my way to, to do. That's not so far away from my music uh, anyway. So, so it's, uh, it was very easy actually to, to combine my way of thinking uh, to Carnitz's way of thinking music.